channel this is either two and this is either two's daily i'm sure this one brought it to this vlog again this peppers <laughs> so for those of you in canada nigerians in canada you know how it can be difficult to get these peppers in fact as at last year when this time last year i was still in nigeria and i was watching videos and my friends over here in Canada were telling me, ah, peppers are cheap now. This is the best time to buy bulk peppers, tomatoes, vegetables to store for the year before winter comes. So we store food for winter. Because winter comes, ah, it's another ball game entirely. So I don't stay in, so I'm in Manitoba, but I don't stay in Winnipeg. Winnipeg is where the things happen. I'm in a smaller town. So we saw people buying pepe 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 we've not been able to get we joined whatsapp group to to get pepe we paid we've not been able to see thank god for my lovely neighbors my lovely friends three of them came through so shout out to you guys i don't know if i should mention your names but i know you'll be watching this video thank you so much for allowing me to be able to get pepe so those videos you watched that video you watched that has um like seven was it seven seven cartons of peppers all of them belong to me <laughs> they're not all for me so my house was where it was collected and then out of those ones i got three i got three another family got two then another family got two and these are my peppers tatashi bell pepper it's very very scarce so my friend went to costco yesterday and she showed me a picture of about five or six peppers like this in a pack in costco and it was for like six dollar i think seven dollars so i'm going to put the picture over here for you guys to see meanwhile a carton we got a carton for 15 dollars so these three cartons is for how much 30 45 dollar meanwhile just we just pick six for like six dollars see how cheap this thing is so it's after this time you don't get to see it anymore as in you see it, but it's very expensive so now the carton is for 15 dollar tomatoes in fact yesterday i got tomatoes for like um a whole carton for like 10 dollar because this is harvest season this is the time they're harvesting all these so it's very very cheap to get and stock so we we'll stock it up in the freezer and be using it small 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 till next year because you don't want to buy in the store you know in the super in the supermarket where it's very expensive when you can stock up so when you stock up you're using it little by little till next year we have some families that they, they also they farm they have a farm they farm and then they didn't have to buy all these things they planted it themselves not really that they have a habanero pepper that's a tarot they have it in stock from last year it lasted them to this year you know so very very important so if you are yet to land, if you bought your ticket and you want to come, I know somebody coming in December. Sorry, you're going to buy from superstore. You're going to buy from stores. I'm not going to give you, you know yourself. So now, the wala now is how you're going to preserve it. So if I had a bigger freezer, I would have just put carry this and pour it in my freezer. Just like how you do in Nigeria. I buy tomatoes, I buy the I just pour it whole. In the freezer i also did my tomatoes like that but i don't have enough um storage so i decided to chop my tatashi so i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to be chopping my own and storing i hope you guys can hear me i'm far from the camera i'm going to be chopping it up putting it in ziploc this for like this one i've chopped is for like two peppers like two peppers already here so i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to be doing mine some people decided to blend i don't want to blend my own i want to just chop it and put it in different bags so that when i want to do maybe like stew if i want to do stew i'm going to put like fetch some add to my tomatoes and my onion and my garlic and blend i don't want to blend it i don't have the strength but i think it's better for me to chop it so i'm chopping it up in big chunks like this like this this is how i'm chopping it so even if you want to mix make sauce with to fry egg or something you can still go ahead and still chop it with your knife or you use your blender to use the use the pulse 
part of the blender to get very nice consistency so there are different ways to do it people blend their own so people put it like this in the freezer but i don't have enough space i'm going to do this and i'm going to show you guys how i'm going about it so stay tuned meanwhile i'm doing this in the night i've sent the kids up to go sleep i went to work today the, the, after doing that video you guys watched where i was dancing i left it in my sitting room in the carton it's already getting spoiled <laughs> It's already getting spot, see? So I decided to just take time this night to do it. So this take time while I show you guys. So I've already rinsed it before this video. I'm just going to rinse it again. It's very clean, sir. So it's clean, but it's clean. Okay. Can you imagine? See the length of this pepper. What can I use to show you guys how big this is? So let me use my arm. <laughs> can you see? So this is like two times the length of my arm. Very gigantic. I didn't see this type in Niger. This is how our tatashi is over here. And the ataro too, the habanero pepe. I don't know what they used to make it in this Canada. I don't know what they used to plant it. It's so hot. Very, very. So that is one that is cast now. Now it's habanero pepe we're looking for. We don't have pepe in Canada. Tiny pepe like this, you will see, they'll tell you $5. It's not pepe and it's not. They'll tell you habanero pepe is pepper. It's not pepe anything. But the ones we get, I don't know where we get it in African store. I don't know where we used to plant those peppers from. If you put one in your soup, you will know you put pepper. Even your robot that like pepper, they used to bow for that pepper. Your robot will am I lying? <laughs> if I'm lying, put it in the correct pepper. They've confessed to me that uh, the pepper here is different. No, it's a different thing. So I hope you can see. Just remove the all this, rinse out the seeds, guys some parts then I'm going to call my daughter to come and help me let her come and learn more how to be a wife how to be a good wife material I sent them up to go and sleep baby but she has refused to sleep I can hear her upstairs I can hear them just Nigerian mom will be in the kitchen and then the child will be playing upstairs or doing something. It's not possible. Just for the video. Because you know when she's here, I'll start shouting. You did not do it like this. This is how I thought to. Let me just respect myself and do this part in peace. You know, sometimes when you want to call your child to come and do work, when you think about the, the wire, when you think about the stress, when you call them to come and do, know most times they come and mess up the place more. No. You just try to just do it yourself, bro. You need to always involve them so that they'll be learning, even though they'll mess it up. So I cut them in long, long strands like this first. Long, long strands. Then I'm going to cut it.
By the way, I had already put um, I had already blocked the sink with um, this blocker, what they call it, to block the dirt from passing through. So it's going to collect all these seeds and point them back in. So it's going to unblock it. So those of you that are looking for these peppers to buy, I don't even know how to go ahead because I will put the, I think I'll put the WhatsApp group. There's a WhatsApp group we formed. In fact, that WhatsApp group, the number of people there, as of when I joined, there were like 900 people in that WhatsApp group. As of when I joined that WhatsApp group for people interested in buying peppers. So, in that group, there's a form that you fill. You fill the form to indicate how many cartons of peppers you want to buy. Then they'll send an email to you of the price, the the account. We call it the email to pay. We call it interact payment. Yeah? Where you make your payments for the peppers, so a form will be sent to you. So, we learned that the peppers come from Ontario, where Manitoba will learn pepper come from Ontario. So, they need to know how many we are ordering to, before they bring. So, some people pay, we paid for it, and then Sorry, my parrot is making noise. So we paid for the, the peppers and we now started getting news that some stores are selling it. So pe some people that paid, people in Winnipeg, when those ones that paid, still went ahead to go and buy from the store because the one we paid for, for Ontario, that one has not landed. We don't know if it will come. So people went ahead to buy cartons in the store. So they were now looking for how they will get refund on the WhatsApp group for the one they had already paid. They didn't need it anymore. So they started refunding people that don't want it. Yeah. Anyway. So I'm going to put the link of the, the WhatsApp group at least for the next one week after this video is the WhatsApp group will still be relevant because people have not gotten delivery yet of the ones they paid for. So this one I'm cutting now is from a store in Winnipeg. I told you my very good friends are the ones that brought it here. So I don't really know the name of the store. I'm going to put it in the either on the screen or something. And I learned also that Superstore in, I think the Superstore in Winnipeg also have it. And, you know, so it's very important to buy this and stock up. You know how expensive it can be when it's not in season. I have already bought tomatoes. If I still see, I'll still buy more. Because the ones I have are uh, okay, but it don't last me long. So we're still looking for more. You don't want to you want to stock up like we did cow sharing. I didn't do the video. It was too messy. I wanted to make the video of cow sharing that we did in this place. Ten families paid to share a whole cow. And the essence is meat is very expensive here. Beef is so 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 expensive. Good beef, you know. So we went to the farm, we chose the car we wanted to kill. It was killed in our presence and all that. So we shared it and it was a lot. 
even though we started eating it already. So we want to stop for the winter. We started eating it already, but we're thinking of sharing again. Mm -hmm. You are here. You are going. To... Are you not sleeping? I need to go back. Do it and go back up. So we shared it, and it was quite a lot. So. We are thinking of also doing another round because some families showed interest that they also want to buy. They were not aware of the first one we organized. So, we'll buy another cow. And then, we are thinking of, okay, so the cow meat we are going to be buying, eating. So, we are thinking of also buying goat meat. This time around, maybe we'll buy a whole goat. Stop for us, we're not sharing down. My, my phone, no. These children, you don't know how much they sell phone. And besides, just open um uh, cabinet on my phone. Phone that is basic, basic. Hope you didn't hear that part. So, another one let me measure it with my knife <laughs> it's so gigantic let me put it to my face it's not like that my face the first time i saw this okay i remember i sent it to my my family in nigeria my family was that good and my mom was like tell me this what tell me this like now fertilizer, now fertilizer, they put inside this pepper like this way. That no matter that she, with that fertilizer, it's not supposed to be like this. I said, mommy, leave us with our fertilizer. I said, why is it big like this? There is fertilizer is too much. They don't eat it. Go and buy the one, the Nigerian type. Who likes the Nigerian type? For God's sake, this one. I'm showing you big pepper here, yeah, discouraging me. So anytime I see it, I always remember what she said that is fertilizer. I don't know which how big the size is supposed to be. Like, is it supposed to be this big or the one we are used to? You must be excused at this case. I'm sorry. Come to this and go and do it. for my camera. Go to that side. I cannot even threat, threaten you that if you fall my phone, it's your school fees I used to pay. You've never brought anyone home. I have actually. Meanwhile, the one that we're paying for. The one you're you're not paying for. Her old apples are so sour and I don't really like They make my stomach hurt. So, we're going to buy another cow. Because we're not going to eat this one. Because we're not going to eat this one. So, I'm going to put them in Ziploc. I started this one already. And you know when it gets frozen, even if you take it from the freezer, because of the way it is loosed, it's not going to be ice that you won't be able to fetch the one you want. It's loosed, so no matter how ice it is, you can always fetch the quantity you want. So that's why I like it like this. And by the way, it's not pepperish. 
You know that I'm saying it's not perfect. Why are you start thinking of my hand? That frame me, no, it's not. So I got two bags from the ones I've done earlier. So it's easy to stop up in the freezer. got my papers i watched a video of a lady that was preparing her tomatoes that was packing a baby and she did it overnight i could see how overwhelming it could be for her but that's another method you could use to to store your own so in her own case she got the she got the pepper, tomatoes, onion. She sorted all everything out. Then, like this particular one now, she will put the sizable pepper, um, atarot, the sizable um, onion and tomato and blend it at once. That's another method. You don't have to do any further wahala, you know. So, whichever works for you is what you're going to do. Yeah, because for me, I just feel this is the best way to go about it. Yeah. And my other friend that got some other cartons of the peppers, she's going to blend it and put in, she's going to blend and put in containers. So she has some yogurt containers she kept. She has been keeping so she's going to do that and put in her freezer and she's going to do this method also for some we discussed this evening and she said she will do some like this and blend some so depending on your space there's some people that have these biggest freezers like very very big that you can even lie down inside full length human can lie down freely stretch your leg inside her hand those ones you can buy 10 cartons and just pour it inside just pour it inside you know and anytime you need to do two you just go and carry like two or three attache and just make it melt and that's all so whichever works for you guys is what you do the most important thing is to first get the pepper <laughs> Let's get it. So when we got it, and after dancing and all that, after I did that video, I was dancing. Anytime I passed, it was in the sitting room. Anytime I passed through where it was standing, I'll be like, hey God, see what cool. hey God, am I going to do this? So when I saw that it was already spoiling and it was bringing out water, I'm like, see. If I don't do this thing this night now, I have other plans for tomorrow is Friday. So today I'm going to be busy. Sunday will be so 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 busy. And if it gets keeps getting spoiled. So why not now? Back home in Nigeria, I'm not used to 
I'm not used to storing things, buying things in bulk, you know. Maybe because I had all my house helps were like matured girls that were like from 16, 20 something years old. So they are matured enough for me to be sending up and down. So I didn't really store things. I'm not really used to doing that. But coming here, you need to learn how to buy things in bulk and save. And save for the snowy days. No more rainy days, for the snowy days. And when things are cheap, you buy them. As I said, it's harvest season. People have been giving out tomatoes free. All the tomatoes I have, before the one I bought, for before the one I bought for ten dollar per carton, I got them all free. You just see people in your local community, actually here this place a lot of people farm. You just see people asking, "I have spare tomatoes. I've saved enough. I put enough in my freezer. If anybody wants." Or you see, it's very very cheap. Before the harvest, you could buy like six pieces of tomatoes for as much as ten dollar six pieces so what saved me was i have a there's this tomato paste they call it hunt mr hunt or hunt it's very very nice tomato sauce you know he's um blended tomatoes everything it's very very nice so now that i've been using before instead of buying the raw tomato it was cheaper to buy it. So a kind of those um, blended tomato paste is like two dollar. So that's what we've been using, and surprisingly, it's very good. When you use it to make spaghetti, too, the kids like it. So, but for now, we're going to be eating fresh, fresh tomatoes, fresh stuff. So I'll see you guys when we're done. Hi guys. So we're finally done with the sorting out of the tatashe. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine bags. So let me show you. So these are the bags. We have nine, nine of them. So these are all the seeds and every every something is telling me you will not plant this thing next year next year we intend to farm yeah we intend to farm next year so we had plans to farm this year but a lot of things came up as i said my husband had a surgery on his wrist and all that so we couldn't just do that so hopefully next year we're going to be doing it so I hope you guys learned one or two things. These are my tatashe ready for the freezer. So I hope you guys get you get to buy and I get you you get to store it. So she helped. She helped to do the peppers because even I've told them to go upstairs to go and sleep. But even if I allow them to be upstairs. They will not sleep. So Kukuma come and work for me. So without her, I think I'll still have been doing all this. It took us like like one hour to do all this. So I would have blended along with the tomatoes, but I, I had already sorted the tomatoes like some days ago. So this is just the testing. Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up and Please subscribe if you are yet to subscribe at this point. Good night from my side. Bye.